This squad has been named President's Trophy winners and Western Conference champs. It's the San Jose Sharks wearing their distinctive teal for tonight's game. We have reached the ultimate game. Hi, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich. No tomorrow for these two teams against one another. What's the locker room like right now? Well, I've been in these situations uh, as a player, Doc, and the one common phrase or theme inside those locker rooms is that guys are saying inside those rooms, somebody's going to be a hero here tonight. Somebody's going to be the guy that scores the game-winning goal. Maybe our goaltender makes a big save and wins the game for us. And certainly you want to be on that team that is celebrating around your goaltender. Colorado's had different players all season long step up into that hero role. Confidence is not an issue with this team because they've done it all season long. They have tremendous depth in their lineup. Certainly a big factor in why they have a great chance in winning this game. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. Game sevens are the thing of magic. Not a whole lot needs to be said by the coaches, by the players, or us. So let's just see here. Let's just see. After a thrilling series that went back and forth, it all comes down to a best of one. And he needs to be solid and give his team a chance to win it. Simple as that. Nathan McKinnon, NHL Rookie of the Year when he broke in just after his 18th birthday, worth the price of admission. With Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich, this playoff game has begun. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. San Jose's got it back in their own zone. Gets in, looks over his options here. Blockered away. Wonderful work done near the blue line. Colorado's controlling play now through the neutral zone. It's dumped in. On to Barry. Got that pass in his own end. Play is stopped, so let's hear from our man at the ice, Ray Ferraro. These games aren't for cowards. Stand up and be counted. Winner takes all. Thanks very much, Ray. A little over three minutes gone in this period. Both teams are still looking for their first strike. Smart recovery by Vlasic. Shot! Terrific point blank save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Puck dropped, and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. Really good cut of the pass. Donskoy is tripped up. That should be a penalty. The abs are boxed on a tripping minor. I'm going to give credit to the puck carry here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. The Sharks are getting their first power play crack of the game. Well, this is a great chance for them. The game's initial power play, a first chance to get on the board. Hit the post on the outside. A deflection off the crossbar and into the seats. They lock up from the draw, and the teammate puts the grab on it. Skilled play by Braun. Pitching it to Donskoy. Gains the zone. Puts one on. He scores! Winning strategy on the power play. when you score first you take the edge off your own team that can't happen you're up one go make it two
San Jose is ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. San Jose goal scored on the power play by number 28. He slid to Landeskog. By number 27. Nicely received at the point. By number 60. Shoots one. Marvelous save. A great chance was no chance. Shoots. Oh, and a big save. Grab with the glove. Directing that one to Carlson. Carries it on in from center. He got in. Good shooting place. May not have intended it, but it hit it. Missed with the shot. That goaltender's breathing a little easier. Great chance from the slot. He just missed. Oh, what a stop. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. He's able to make the glove stop here on a relatively easy scoring chance. A little under eight minutes played in the first. The Sharks lead 1-0. The Sharks win the draw. Big drive. Terrific save. The Avs are looking to make a play out of their own zone. A great speed bump set up there. And he dumps it in. The Sharks have it at center ice. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Outstanding body contact. Gerard's arrived at the rink in a bad mood. That didn't take him very long to get physically involved in a game that should be aggressive throughout. Laid on to Soderbergh. Shoots a good stick stop. Dogged determination there by Cole. Terrific determination by Carlson. Terrific shot, but a great point-blank save. Now that's a beautiful stop on a great scoring chance. That puck left the zone, and so everybody will have to reset. There's a delayed penalty on this play. Takes that pass that was just slipped ahead to him. Colorado's taking advantage of the delayed call. The goalie is off. Tries to get it on net. Great save. The Sharks lose one guy off their roster for this one. It's a game misconduct. The Avs are hoping to get one out of one on the power play. Always important to win the special teams battle, or at the very least, come out even. They'll get an opportunity on their first power play of the game. Trailing here. I sure agree, Eddie. The Sharks are given a hooking minor. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five-on-three power play, and it begins now. One of the biggest mistakes a five-on-three power play makes is they're looking for the perfect shot. The more you shoot it, the more you move the penalty killers around and you start to tire them out. Chip to Barry. A shot. Save there. Pass to the slot. Looking to Vlasic. Crosses that line. Big time deep there. Pass attempt to McKinnon. Shoots one, and a save. And he steps across the line. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. And now, after that period of time, we get the whistle and the penalty call. Ryan's going to the box. It's a tripping minor. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. The Avs get a huge opportunity here. It's a two-man advantage, and it's a long one. Let's see how they do. You're right, Doc. This is a big advantage here. A five on three on the power play. It's one you have to capitalize on. And 
the bump goes. He's got this one. He's got to hurry. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Puck is thrown to Soderbergh. Propelled to Brassard. Skill play by Dillon. And now it's directed to Carlson. An enormous hit. Even when the puck's on your stick, you better know where everybody is on the ice. A point blast. Save. Driving in from no man's land. Let's it go. He was standing in the lane and got some of it. Let's a shot go. Made that stop. Off that save, the puck has gone over the glass. Out of play. The Sharks get the draw. Brings a shot. That puck struck him in front. Pitching this one to Landeskog. Collected by Vlasic. Oh, snaps a shot. That hits somebody. They've got a two-on-one. Six. A chance to clear. Passing one off now to Pavelski. Steps across that line. Heaves one. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. The Avs power play got plenty of practice that time, but no finish. A textbook stick save. The clock has bled down to the last minute. One minute left. He shoots it off. And off target with that one. Challenge the goalie, hit the net. Man, that bugs me. Lots on that to Barry. Pat it away with authority. Trying to go to Don Scott. Fires a shot. Score! Late in the period. Couldn't get much later for that one. Say anything now. Their team will be pumped up that they've scored this last minute goal going into the intermission. Scored by number twenty. First period stats are final. We'll have some more entries as the second and third periods are forthcoming. A pair of pucks entered the net in that period, both from the same set of sticks. It's 2-0. Hey, look now at the lopsided shot totals. A gaudy 14 for the Avalanche and 7 for the Sharks. The Sharks have a two-goal lead, and the one that made it two was this one. We'll be right back. period played a second period is about to begin what do you think of what we've seen so far Colorado's time on attack was limited and so they find themselves chasing the game there's still time to turn it around let's see if the coach stress the importance of puck possession that was a big hit McKinnon's not very happy after taking that huge hit he wasn't aware who was around and he paid the price Well, you always want to finish your check, and if you have a position to deliver a real solid lick, you're going to take it. But, man, he goes down hard here. The abs prevail again. Muscled long to Barry. From the slaughter wrister. Save! The Sharks haven't played all that great tonight, but their goaltender has been so good. 
He's given them a chance to get their feet underneath them so they can score some goals. And that one is held on to for a stoppage of play. Good opportunity to regroup here after that save, but now they got to win a defensive zone faceoff. Pretty easy save for the goaltender as he just handles that. He handles about 100 of those in practice a day. San Jose has prevailed on another faceoff. The Sharks skated up on the side. Shoots, waffle boarded. And ripped to Carlson. Shoots one, got a piece of that one. Colorado's continuing to probe up the wing. Shot on, swept aside. Shoots, a brilliant save. And yet another save. How does he do that? How many stops can one goaltender make? Terrific chance there, but the pass fails. Goes back deep for it. Keeps it in the zone with that interception. The pass is off the mark. What a chance that would have been. Oh, boy, what a hit. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Read that play in his own end. That puck is held, and the whistle stops playing. Barlamov's lucky. Just got a piece of that, but it was enough to make the stop. Let's check in at ice level with Ray. McKinnon's been missing from the bench for quite some time. I just got word now he won't be back today. Good face-off win. Scorches one. An outstanding bad save. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. Moving it to Brassard. Steals that pass at center. Sails it. A wonderful scoring chance denied. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Fired up the wing to Kerfoot. Leads that charge into the zone. On to Barbario. Oh, and he misses. Wow, he got all of that. As we used to say, that's the hardest shot you can hear. Probably be better if he hit the net. With a shot, great stick save. And he puts the glove on it and stops play. Well, that even sounded hard the way that he shot the puck, but the goalie makes the stop on that effort. San Jose's got it. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Drives it. Score! Three straight goals. that puck so hard I only saw it when it finally came back out of the net low blocker is always a good place to shoot this shot is perfect beats him on the blocker side just above the path San Jose's got a large lead in this game let's see if they can build on it or whether they'll start to get conservative and the faceoffs won can start the attack going in the zone Slid to comfort. Hung right over him and couldn't get it past. Great display of goaltending right there, Doc. He throws it there. Save. Another save. That's on his stick. A big, big hit. He's just trying to shake this game upside down. They trail by a big margin, and the only way you're going to turn it is to change the momentum. That looks to him from his goaltender. Nicely into the zone. A rocket! He scores! That's four straight.
Carlson scores on that slap shot. It looked like it was shot out of a cannon. Oh, he had enough time to walk into this, and he absolutely pounds this. Goalie doesn't have a chance. Goalie to the bench, substitution made. Well, not much surprise here. The coach has clearly seen enough, and because he can't bench the whole team, what he's going to do is get his goaltender out of there and let him have a bit of a break. San Jose's got an enormous lead, and it's in the second period. Hopefully, they don't go daydreaming now. Neutral zone face off one. Possession established here. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Has that point pass as well. Flings it. Score! This shot was heavy and quick. He doesn't even move. Once he drops into the butterfly, you're certain he's got the net covered. He just doesn't. San Jose's got a large lead in this game. Let's see if they can build on it or whether they'll start to get conservative. Neutralized face-off win. Oh, broke it up. Good defensive read with that one. Edward Vlasic. He's in on an onside play. Time of the goal. Has it back deep. The Sharks with control at center ice. Terrific defensive work. Snapping a pass to Landeskog. Strong wrister. Oh, lightning quick and a terrific save. Things are heating up with that hit. Oh, that is a great hit. I love that hit. In the open ice, you really send a message with one of those. Gets behind the net. Does he have anybody in front? A shot. That puck was obstructed by a screen. Pass cut. That's a really dangerous area with the puck, and he turned it over. Now the opponent has a short ice to attack. That puck has to go forward into a safe area 100% of the time. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Players tired, about to get a rest. Seconds to play here, still in the second period. Laid on to Kerfoot. Got it at the point. Bounced off the boards to Kerfoot. They're getting ready to strike. Pass block. Two seconds and one. And the period comes to a close. Wow, what a finish. Do you want the assurance of knowing you have a ticket to all the big games? Then grab our season tickets. Guarantee your seat for the upcoming playoffs. Call the box office for more information or check out our website. The abs are suffering on the goaltender. For him, there are great days, there are average days, and then there's today. More in a moment. third period about to begin. The rear view mirror will help us with the first two, and so will Edza. Colorado's down, Doc, after two periods of play. It's going to be really difficult for them to get back in this game if they don't clean up their turnovers. Third period has started with the score being dominated by one team. Changes in the offing? We'll see. Up the wing and still with it. With a wrister. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. The goaltender shuts that one down on a superb opportunity. And so we've been on the receiving end of more than a few of these things. This is why you retire from the game. What a gorgeous hit.
solid face-off win. Turned away with a stick. Pitching it to Johnson. Directing that one to Barry. Into the end of attack. Feeds the point. Landis Gawks tripped and a penalty should be coming. The Sharks have been handed a minor penalty for tripping. Oh, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. The Avs get another power play opportunity. They have not been good on this power play, at least so far. Let's see if it changes. After an ineffective power play earlier in the game, let's see if they can get a little more organized, get the puck into the zone and get it on net far more frequently. And a save! A little under three minutes off the clock in the third. Who would have thought five goals, but all of them from one team? Power play time running. It's collected by Cole. It's an onside play. Let's it go. Pat it away. Looking to Pavelski. Points it. A huge open ice hit. Oh, that's going to make them think twice about going to that area. There's no way he's not banged up. He's slow to the bench here, and he's looking for the trainer already. And he steps across the line. Solid work there by Joe Pavelski. Score! A shorthanded goal! That's a terrific play on the shorthanded goal as he's able to capitalize on a mistake and beat the goaltender. San Jose's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period for the opposition. At least that is fortunate. Colorado's got it off the draw at center. Buck picked up here. Wonderful stop. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. The Sharks have done a tremendous job in killing off penalties tonight. Now they just have to try and get some offense going. With a strong wrist shot. Wonderful stop. Colorado's got a defensive zone win. Gathered up by Barry. Neutral zone carry by Johnson. Shoots one. Great save. The Sharks are skating it up at neutral ice. Nice work with that stick by Johnson. That's a free puck thanks to the play by Vlasic. Let's it go. Sensational stick lift and steal. Saved his team. Gathered up again by Barrett. Took that away in his own zone. Big drive. Wonderful save. Gathered up again by Johnson. The Abs have control of the puck through the neutral zone. Takes a shot. Wonderful save with the glove. Into the attacking end. Save! Pass attempt to Nieto. A collision! Carlson's play with the puck is known throughout the league, but when he lays the body on, everybody waits up. A dangerous shot off the mat. And he hatchets one. He hangs on and gets the whistle. You know he's happy, guys. He's sitting there on the bench. He's got a couple of goals in his back pocket already. But you know he's thinking about number three. What an achievement that would be to bang in one more. The Sharks win that faceoff. The glove like lightning.
just a little under nine minutes remaining. The ice is not only tilted, if they opened the end doors, the players would go tumbling through them into the hallway. It's dumped in. Goalie out of the net, puck on his stick. He is hooked, he kind of shook it off and continues to play. There'll be a penalty. Jones at the bench, delayed penalty continues. Oh, a close call there. Well, that's a good scoring chance. He's trying to be too fine, trying to pick the corner. Sometimes you've just got to shoot it at the middle of the net. And we get a penalty. Referee to the table, a player to the box. The Avs guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick blade, just a hook. Well, what he was trying to do is try to get the puck, but unfortunately for him, he reached in and hooked around the player. Off to the penalty box he goes. The Sharks go on the power play again. They have connected once already. They've been successful before docking the game here. Let's see if they can do it again. Move the puck, get the puck to the net. 12 minutes, 56 seconds. Gathered up again by Braun. San Jose's game has been quick. It has been dominant. And they have been the better team by a mile here this evening. They haven't had much to fight over at all. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Gains that offensive line. Defensive Jim with the stick. The Avs have it along the side at mid-ice. Oh, what a hit that one was. Better get your head up. That's a solid hit that he had to take there. Chip the hurdle. Fires. Deflected off the blocker. Tremendous hit. And decides to just hold on and get a stoppage of play. Johnson's position on the ice allowed him to make this big hit. Critical win of the draw. The Sharks' power play let him down at a very important time. And he dumps it in to get a line change. Puck is thrown to Carlson. Perfect passing right through center. Fires a shot. Save there. A whistle and a rest. Clean win on the draw. And it's a good pickup. Cuts that pass off. And now it's directed to Gerard. Pitching this one to Landeskog. Taken over again. Passing one off now to Carlson. Nicely into the zone. Save! He's got that point pass. Big drive! Save! Punched away. That puck exits the zone, so play has to reset. Bodied off the puck. Cuts off that pass in the attacking zone. Puck covered, whistle blown. Grabbed, the two centermen tied up, but there was a good reach there. He gains the zone. Last minute to go in the third. Got that pass in the corner. And down to Nieto. Oh, what a hit. That slowed things down. It's pretty clear he wanted to send a message with that hit. He followed through and thumped him. Let's go, Arister. And a save. With a blast! Trying to go to Calvert. Colorado's got it and moving up the wing. The stick can break up a play and it just did. Offensive possession here. A thundering ovation here. They're used to hearing it by now because as it goes for the Stanley Cup, their team is halfway. This series is over, and the winners move on. Fans of Old Duck will be celebrating tonight with their team wraps this series up. No lower low in hockey than seeing your hope shattered like this. This is not the time to analyze it. That comes later. The handshakes are first.
It was another great night of playoff hockey. We hope you liked it and we'll watch next time. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good night.